Before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who have taken the time to rate my videos and comment in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've seen a spike in engagement a lot recently. A lot more subscribers are coming in. A lot more people are commenting, and I enjoy those conversations I have with you guys in the comments. So I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm in college right now. So juggling, you know, YouTube channel stuff and work with school, uh, it gets, you know, pretty hectic at times. So I at least try to do something where... Uh, if I can't upload a video every weekday, I try to upload something every other day. And sometimes it gets pretty hectic, so kind of just enjoying making the videos right now. But, hmm, that was a message actually. As I was saying, kind of engaging with you guys in the comments and on Twitter and stuff like that is some of the most fun I have apart from actually making these videos. So I greatly appreciate it uh, to those of you who take the time to comment. I love those conversations, so thank you very much. And, and me wearing this shirt when I'm talking about this is just kind of... Ironic, I guess, now to think about it. Anyway, on with the video. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to GBN. And in this video, I'll be giving you guys a software tour of all the downloads I have on my Nintendo 3DS. This will sort of kick off the start of what's going to supposedly be a lot of content regarding the 3DS with the launch of the new 3DS this week. It's Thursday, technically, when I'm filming this, so presumably if this video airs today, uh, the launch starts tomorrow, so expect an unboxing, uh, a tutorial on how to transfer your data between this and the new 3DS, and more videos just on the system. So as you guys can see, I have a pretty large list of 3DS games, so we're going to work ourselves from left to right. First off, I have all my 3DS retail games. There's a couple of them here, taking up the first row and partially the second row. And after that, I have all my sort of like system applications or media applications, things that aren't necessarily games, but I sort of use sometimes. And then I have an other folder. This is where all like kind of like the junk applications that I really never use go into. Things like Swapno, which doesn't even work anymore in the camera application, things of that nature. So if we move down the list of applications, we have a demo folder. This is just where I keep all my demos. And some of these are actually over like the limitation has been used so I should actually delete some of these but as you can see I have a couple of demos here uh, I do have a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card for my 3ds XL so I can you know install just any amount of demos I basically want on this 3ds so I have a couple uh, built up so far next up I have my 3d classics game these are old retro games that have been remade in 3d for the 3ds following that we have the 3d I guess download games the games that aren't retail games but you can download off the eShop some of these are a lot of fun so I'll be going more in depth with some of the ones I want you to play or I would recommend so after we go through all the DS download games I have this little sort of Sega 3d classics which is sort of like the Nintendo 3d classics just with Sega games the only one I own is the Sonic one though Following that, I have my DSiWare collection. These are all games I ported over or uh, transferred over from my DSi over to the 3DS when I first bought the original 3DS. Now moving past that, I have my Game Boy Advance collection. You can't buy these right now, but these are games that were given to me by Nintendo for being an ambassador of the original 3DS, and I imported those games over from the original 3DS over to this 3DS XL. After the Game Boy Advance collection, I have one Game Boy Color game, and that's Legend of Zelda DX. And uh, following that, I have all my Game Boy original uh, titles. So these are games for the Game Boy that, you know, didn't have color or anything like that. Just made for the original Game Boy. And I have uh, quite a bit of them, about a row size. And then following that uh, is the final part of my collection are all my NES games. And a couple of them were gotten, I think, from the Ambassador program as well. Now here are some of my recommendations for the games that I own that I would actually recommend for you to play. So first off, Super Smash Bros. 3DS. I love Smash Brothers, so of course I'm going to recommend this. It's a great brawler, four player, also one on one. There's just, it's a fantastic fighting game that you should buy. New Super Mario Brothers 2 is a great 2D platformer. If you love the Mario Brothers formula, you're going to love this. And there's a crap ton of coins in it, so there's that if you're into collecting coins. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is a great sort of puzzle game, I guess you would describe it. Puzzle adventure game. If you love Luigi's Mansion 1 on the GameCube, you're going to love Dark Moon. It's a fantastic game with online multiplayer. Fire Emblem Awakening is a great RTS game if you're looking into picking up codename Steam or just are into the real-time strategy series, you're gonna love Fire Emblem Awakening. It's a fantastic game, and a new game is even coming out for the series on the 3DS later this year. Pushmo and Crashmo are both titles in a new series made by Nintendo, exclusively for the 3DS eShop. They're puzzle games where you have to solve like sort of 2D images in 3D. It's really cool. As far as 3D classics go, I'm a really big fan of Kirby and Kid Icarus, so I highly recommend both of these titles, especially if you were fans of the original 
original NES title, they look great in 3D. Gunman Clive 1 and 2 are great titles. Gunman 1 was ported over from Android to 3DS, and then the second game came out exclusively on 3DS. These games are fun platformers that sort of play out like Mega Man in a way that you just move, jump, and shoot. They're really fun games and they look fantastic in 3D. Mighty Switch Force 1 and 2 are another pair of great platformers. These are made by WayForward and they look fantastic on the 3DS and they just play so well. There's even an HD remake of the first game on the Wii U. Mutant Muns is a fun retro themed platformer made by Renegade Kid. They did a great job with this game. The music in it is simply amazing. And it uses 3D in a very clever way in the gameplay. Bomb Monkey is a great puzzle game by Renegade Kid. It's multiplayer on one single 3DS where you share one screen with the other person. It's a very fun game to play. If you like Sonic the Hedgehog, you're going to love Sonic the Hedgehog 3D. It's sort of like a 3D classic Sonic the Hedgehog game. And this is simply one of the nicest looking 3D games in terms of retro remakes. If you like drawing, check out Colors 3D. It's basically sort of like the Photoshop application on 3DS, if there was one. It's fantastic, there's an online community, and the drawings that people make online are amazing. You just wouldn't believe what you could find on there. Now looking at DSiWare games, Bomberman is probably one of my favorite games in terms of DSiWare. I love this game. I suck at it, but I love this game. It's very addictive. Petite Computer is another great application for the DSi that's now workable or playable on the 3DS. It lets you run your own code or write code to make your own little mini games in this program. I actually made a video on it if you guys want to check it out on how to run Flappy Bird on your 3DS using this. Now moving on to the Game Gear classics, I have Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. Basically one of the greatest games on the Game Gear, and if you guys don't want to deal with having to buy a Game Gear, this is one great way to play the game, so try out Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX is a fantastic game, literally the only Game Boy Color game I own, but this is one of the best ones out there on the eShop right now. It looks fantastic on the 3DS, and it's just a fun Zelda game. Now in terms of Game Boy games, I'm going to have to recommend all the Super Mario Land games. They're really fun platformers, it's really catchy music. And of course other classics like Tetris, although I don't think that's on there anymore. Pac-Man's a fun title, as well as Kirby's Dream Land, a fantastic game. And now moving on to NES titles, I gotta recommend Mega Man. I love Mega Man now. I was never really into it as a child, but now most recently I started playing the old retro titles, and I love them. Of course, Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3, and the Lost Levels that was only released in Japan. You can pick that up online now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. Maybe you guys found some new titles that you guys might want to try out for yourself. There's a bunch of great games you could download off the eShop, so go ahead and check it out. And if anything caught your eye and you have questions regarding the game, ask them in the comment section below and I'd love to you know, answer any questions you have regarding a game you saw in this video. So if you guys liked the video and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to follow me on a bunch of other social networks, you guys can check out the screen you're watching right now. You can see the list of all the networks I'm on, so Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, go for it, add me, feel free to. There's also my gaming username, so if you want to play on Wii U, 3DS, Vita, PS4, anything pretty much, it's there. So feel free to add me if you'd like. And if you want to check out the last video I did, it was actually on the top 5 most anticipated games, for me at least, this year. So go ahead and check that out if you want to see what I'm most excited to uh, play this year. As always, thank you all very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.